Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Uh, today I am reviewing the Murad Deep Relief Acne Treatment with Soothing Phytosteroid, which looks like this here. Murad has had a number of launches this year, and I think this is my first Murad product review um, on the channel this year, I think. I could be wrong here, but if you are new here, my name is Nadia, and I'm a licensed esthetician who loves to test and review skincare products. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you are notified. Whenever there is a brand new upload. I did get a new kind of set of lights here, so throughout today's video it may look a little weird, uh, may look a little bit too blown out in my demo. I am sorry. I am just trying to figure everything out, so hopefully I can get that in order for all of us in my next couple of videos. Mirad describes this as an acne solution that acts like second skin, holding actives in place longer uh, for better penetration. Murad Deep Relief Acne Treatment is formulated with a plant-derived phytosteroid to help heal deep uncomfortable acne without the side effects of steroid shot or prescription pills. You can find this at Sephora, Ulta, and Murad.com. I will be sure to link it down below for you. And a one ounce unit of this retails for $44. Murad suggests that you apply this in the morning and nighttime portion of your routine. You want to cleanse with your clarifying cleanser. Um, if you've got that or your favorite cleanser, then you want to rinse and pat dry. You want to dip a cotton swab into the bottle and apply directly to the affected areas. You may use it with a cotton pad or your finger. You want to let the product dry and do not remove. You want to follow it with your favorite moisturizer or SPF if you're using it during the day. Within this formula, we do see a 2% salicylic acid, which is the maximum that you can get over the counter here. Salicylic acid is best known to exfoliate and minimize acne, breakouts, and deep clean uh, your pores. Salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid, an oil loving acid that exfoliates deep inside the pores to minimize breakouts, congestion, and black heads. We also see mushroom extract here known as the northern truffle mushroom. This ingredient has a soothing effect over the skin and it is best suited for sensitive, redness prone, reactive skin. This helps to calm and minimize redness. We also see a phytosteroid, a natural plant-derived alternative treatment that hydrates to soothe discomfort and reduce redness. Once applied, this serum creates a second skin-like invisible film over the skin to hold actives in place for better penetration, similar to what a patch does over the skin. I first used this on July 2nd. I used it on a blemish that hadn't healed or fully come to a head after a week. So it was just kind of brewing below the surface here and I applied um, this with a Q-tip. I felt that this had a cooling kind of soothing sensation as it sat on the skin and it dried. And then the following day, the blemish um, woke up with about 60% less inflammation. I did have another blemish under the skin on my chin that was about 70% less inflamed, and there was also some redness relief. On July 3rd, I noted um, dryness along the skin surrounding the affected area, and I will say that this only happened that one time, that initial application, and then every other time that I applied this product, I did not experience any redness on the surrounding areas, um, no redness no dryness, no flakiness. Um, I did continue to use it on that affected area about three times until the blemish was completely flattened. The other um, came to a head with some um, redness and inflammation also being minimized. And I remember that 
period in time because this is where I always kind of hormonally break out this area here which you you'll see me using um, or applying this on this area here I just always break out in that region it's my hormonal region and this side is the one that tends to break out the most I do have some texture here as well but when I experienced that dryness, it was in this surrounding area, but it never happened again. On August 1st, on my birthday, I used it on a painful cyst, um, and it was gone by night two. It was brought to a head, and little to no post-inflammation hyperpigmentation was left. I typically suffer from post-inflammation hyperpigmentation um, that lasts anywhere between one week to three weeks um, to heal, depending on how much um, inflammation or redness um, surrounded that particular blemish and it also depends if I use vitamin C serums during the day as well um, just it all just depends on what I'm using on the skin or testing on the skin that day or that you know time period as to how long that post-inflammation hyperpigmentation will linger on my skin on August 26th through September 1st, I suffered from some pretty major hormonal acne around my uh, my chin and the jawline, spe specifically this side here. Um, and you can kind of see like some scarring, not scarring, but just post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation still kind of lingering around these areas when I'm filming my uh, demo here for you all. So I typically just see about one to two blemishes, but this time around I feel like I broke out along my chin and jawline with about four to seven blemishes, both small and on the more kind of like cystic painful bumps um, with loads of redness, especially I feel like this one over here, um, redness, inflammation, and heat. I feel like, especially with this little guy right here, it, there's it feels like there's some heat there. So I used both the deep relief acne treatment on some areas, and then in other areas I did use the Peter Thomas Roth Acne Clear Invisible Dots. Do you let me know if you would like a review on these in the comments down below, and I will be sure to get that up for you all. Perhaps do a kind of compare and contrast. And then inflammation and redness was reduced um, after use. Um, and post-inflammation, again, was reduced, minimized, it literally, like especially these here, I feel like I had way more happening in this area than I do now and both the redness and inflammation was healed within a week. Uh, when worn under makeup I feel like this did not interfere with its wear time or appearance. I do have this on here and in this area here as well as this guy. Like where did this guy come from? I hardly ever break out here, but I am glad that I did because um, that way I was able to demo this for you um, because otherwise I'd be applying it to like this area and there's not much happening here. We are pretty much healing over here. Here we need some work, but this just literally came up last night so I applied it here throughout my demo. Um, I have not broken out as badly as I have this year. I have made some changes in my life that have contributed to the increase in hormonal breakouts. Um, so I can say that I have reached out a lot more towards um, spot treatments, clay masks, blemish dots, and salicylic acid-based serums more this year than I have done so previously. And now I can actually speak a lot more um, as to how acne spot treatments work and how acne 
patches uh, perform on my normal skin um, as I am breaking out a bit more than I was used to. Um, and I do enjoy this as a spot treatment. I don't necessarily think this would be a seasonal item for me, more of like a monthly item for me, just to minimize again redness, encourage the blemishes to heal faster without that post inflammation hyperpigmentation. From using this, I have noticed that my blemishes come to a head a lot faster, redness, inflammation, and even that painful kind of warmth uh, cyst just is just healed faster. Um, this played very well under different serums such as the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Serum. I'll link my review for that up above. Um, in case you'd like to learn a little bit more about that hyaluronic acid based serum and this acne treatment also worked very well with their ceramide serum. Uh, when used during the day I feel like this worked very well under mineral and chemical sunscreens as well as makeup and even my medium coverage which is what I am wearing here the Kosas foundation and um, the summer friday skin tint this worked very nicely under that as well if you're more like a skin tint kind of person um, this also worked very well under my nighttime products especially my hydrating routine products and I definitely enjoyed using this as a spot treatment I do know or have clients that break out a lot here along their cheek space so if that is you I'd highly recommend this as well you just want to apply it to the affected areas anywhere else you could potentially um, experience some dryness flakiness because you're applying it where you don't necessarily need it if you feel a bump brewing apply you know a thin layer let it dry and then continue with the rest of your routine I would recommend this to anyone dealing with painful breakouts big and small as this hydrates soothes and visibly reduces redness and inflammation this is definitely great to keep on hand um, in between facials as well as you want to leave extractions for the experts otherwise you may create a bigger problem um, when you are trying to extract both whiteheads and blackheads if you are on the drier side or experiencing a painful breakout consider applying this on the blemish and avoid applying it anywhere surrounding skin um, as I did when I first used this um, after a while I'd definitely apply liberally just kind of want to see how your skin will react to this 2% salicylic acid solution and then you can use this as a preventative um, before your monthly I feel like this is definitely a results driven product it helped to minimize redness inflammation and breakouts practically overnight I like the formula I didn't experience any pill even when layering serums over top of spot treatment, my SPF or my nighttime moisturizer. I like that this does not include drying alcohols and it can be used anywhere in the body as well. So perhaps you suffer from bacne. Consider applying a thin layer on the spot on your back to help alleviate both pain, redness, and inflammation. This can be used with the rest of the Murad Blue range, but do not layer this under retinol or their vitamin C range. And do consider either using one or the other if you are a Murad lover and have you know the rest of his range. Um, just I either apply this or apply your other products, but do not layer those together. My con here, and this is a quite a big con, is the packaging. Um, I feel like the applicator or the lack thereof does need some work, although I personally do not mind grabbing a Q-tip or dispensing a small amount of product on um, the back of my hand here. I do make sure to pour some product out or use a q-tip or different q-tips if I have different spots throughout um, because you do not want to contaminate your unit um, and I have read some reviews and a lot of people that have used this have a problem with 
the packaging. So I am just pointing this out. Personally, I do not mind using Q-tips um, or just pouring out some product here. So I'm actually going to be docking a point and a half for the packaging. Um, I feel like that can be a bit of a deal breaker for some of you. I think the formula, again, is great. Um, I feel like it delivers on its claims. But again, the packaging could use some work here. I'll continue to use this on my breakouts, especially this little guy over here. But I will also keep you all posted in the bottom bar down below or in a pinned comment. Let me know if you have used this product by Murad in the comments down below. What were your results? Would you recommend this to anyone else in this community? Let's discuss in the comments. So thank you all so much for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it. Um, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Deep relief acting. What? So, hello. Welcome back to my channel.